Um, all right, so this is the top 16. Yes. We've done our play-in rounds. Yes. And we've decided to change things up a little bit. We had to talk about it a little bit last stream. Uh, I mentioned it a couple times, just that I wanted to see what it was like to do best threes. Yeah. So we're going to do best of three starting in round 16. Yeah. So that's going to extend the number of streams. I'm sorry that we're providing more content. For yeah, you. we have more content. So that's our apologies um, for that. So we'll probably... It'll be into December, well into December when we finish. Maybe even beginning of the year. Yeah. Um, so, best three matches. We're going to do two matches a night. And we, it should be a little more definitive as far as, like, what deck deserved to win the match, right? Maybe not completely. Yeah. But, uh, man, the variance between game to game is Yeah, it's pretty crazy. wild. It's, it's, pretty it's insane. So, we'll get into it. First matchup. So, we haven't seen uh, Bene 7. I'm sorry, we haven't seen Tamar P. Jiptinicus yet um, in the finals round because it had a bye. 6 0. Yeah, you have to enjoy more keyboard action, that's true. Hoping for some ramps. I don't know, I'm all ranted out about what's in exchange. <laughs> There's only, so what more can you say? I'm like, yeah, I'm like gonna get back into like repeats. Prospector, though. So yeah, at well. least you, you have the Prospector. We're uh, we're not like swapping for... the decks in between rounds. We're just gonna let the we're just gonna let them lie wherever they. Yeah, in the past when we did best of three rounds, we would swap every game. But I think um, getting one person more experienced with X deck is better than. There's definitely like whenever I've played best of three Keyforge, I always come to the conclusion of like, oh, I there's something there's something about this matchup that I completely missed. Mm -hmm. And it hinges on this, so. Vault Master Rants. You might Eddie, get he gets a treat. Who knows? He could, he could, he could sense it. Well, we don't know how we feel about Vault Master Rant, because we haven't, we haven't played with it. But we'll see. Alright, you're excused. You're done. Treat it. Uh, and I think ultimately Vault Masters is not like an amazing set. I think there's probably some busted combination of stuff, but I think the Amber Control overall is really bad in the set. But we'll have to play it to to know. Eight, eight, five, six, eight. All right. Okay, I'm going to start by playing a Fathom Reaver. And it is your turn. This deck, I think this deck produces like a gajillion prospectors. I think that's what makes this deck so good. Play Generator. I'm going to scoop up the Fathom Reaver. I'm gonna play Memrox and do a damage to the Prospector. Play Mesmerist. No, I'll play the Smart Revolution first. Sure. And then play those guys. And then I'll use the Generator. Make an Explorer. Your turn. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say... Um, Equidon, I'll play Tia R.T. Esquire, I'll play Envoy of Acquire, I'll play Ornate Talking Tray, um, and then I'm going to play Freelancer. Um, Alright, so this is actually a tough choice, because um, I can let you use whatever. If I want to, like, try to steal one of your creatures. Uh, so Envoy of Acquire actually has a goofy interaction with Freelancer. I think I mentioned this before. I was playing at one of the Vault Tours, and my opponent reaped with his Envoy of Acquire and swapped the creature that had Freelancer on it. Um, or swapped the creature that had Freelancer with his Envoy of Acquire, which then, on my turn, I got the Envoy of Acquire and then reaped with it and got to Freelance one of his... One, like the adjacent creature it's so like stuff was just bouncing around <laughs> yeah that's absurd uh anyway i'm gonna put it on the mesmerist and i'm gonna tell you to go ahead i'll draw okay 
Uh, I'm gonna go with Mars. I'm gonna play a Mesmerist. I'm gonna have Esquire capture one. Then I'll fight Esquire before you do some stuff. Okay. Make a token. I'll use this to make an explorer. Three raiders from that dabby guy. Thanks, that dabby guy. Welcome, Appreciate raiders. It. What's up, y'all? I'm done. Start of the turn. All right, I'll get mesmerist. Joker with the prime. Appreciate that. 25 months, thank you. All right, I'm going to say uh, unfathomable. I'm going to play Timoti. Uh, make a token. And I'll play Keltminder. And then I'll put a Toxicuda Venom onto Timoti. Um, I will. Rob Star Alliance Mars, not a whole lot of bouncing there, so I'll uh, I'll go ahead and pop this ornate talking tray. I don't think there's any reason to sit on it. Um, and then I will have the mesmerist fight your uh, memrocks. I don't think there's any reason in letting you potentially set up like a big memrocks. And I will draw. So you go ahead. Okay. I'll say Star Alliance. Reap. With Explorer. Well. Uh, that's fine. I'll play Rogue Operation. Okay. Still one. I will reap an explorer. I was either discard it or keep it, I guess. Yeah, I mean, like, it doesn't really matter because I was milling with the Rogue Operation. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, look at the top. Keep it there. I'll play Guthrak. I'll play Echo Reflector. And Echo Reflector. Round up. Hmm. To go with a Star Lance here or an Equidon. I guess I'll go with a Star Lance. All right. Uh, I will play Pyro. I guess I'll play it over there. I'll play a Rogue Operation myself and draw. And then uh, discard the top two. Adult swim, so steal two. And then I will play future booster. Um, and then I'll play this Zytar with a damage pip. I'll do the damage pip to uh, an explorer token, I guess. I think it's like all the same. Wherever that damage pip goes is largely relevant. Draw three. Tell you to go ahead. Robner, play my club. Play. Fresh marks. Uh, I'm going to do the damage there. Yep. Do some exalting. And fresh marks. So, the Ganymede outposts. Yeah. Do some exalting. There, there. If your, if your prospects are going to die, at least I'll get something out of it. I'll play Volca. I'll Berserker slam this Kelp Miner. Okay. So you lose one. Okay, I'm done. Smithed up with the Prime. Thank you. What's up, Dave?
Do do I think this is a good call? I'm not sure. Does it let me threaten? I'm not threatening thanks to the echo, the multiple echo reflectors. Do I think I can race? I guess I'm going to say uh, unfathomable. I want a future boost. Um, I think that's fine. I'm going to bubbles the Volca. Um, I'm going to play watch your step. And I will choose Brobnar. Um, I have Whirlpool. But I think it gets pitched here. And Timoti, I think, fights Guthrak to death. Um, okay. And it is your turn. I will draw three and tell you to go ahead. Okay, I'll say Mars. Okay, so I get two token creatures. Uh, I'll say Brobnar. Okay. Play Krim. Play Unguardian Camp. Nightclub Krim. I'm gonna fight the Envoy. Okay. So this dies, Timoti dies. Uh, I draw one. Okay, I'm done. Check with an amount. Okay, I am going to say Star Alliance, I'll oh, future boost. All right, we'll put that on the bottom. Uh, I will rogue operation and draw, uh, and then steal one. I will play an SV3 lander. I will play a recruiting station, so the future booster recruiting station. Um, <clears throat> reap twice. I guess. I guess I'll reap twice. It's tempting to fight, fight, but um, I'm just going to reap twice. And I'll tell you to go ahead, and I will draw one. And it's your turn. Of course. I'll say Brobnar. Play Volca. Actually, I'll play Volca there. Um, fight Zytar. Okay, so I draw one. All my club and fight this prospector. Okay. Bubbles takes one. I draw two. Then I'll pound bubbles. And I'm done. Check with ten. Okay, I am um... 
I'm gonna say unfathomable. I just it was pretty fast, yeah. Pretty bursty. Two fresh marks is kind of kind of good. I think it's it's played like multiple games where it's done something yeah, like I that. Think so. where... All right, we're gonna say unfathomable. I'm gonna play Fuguru and draw. I'm gonna play sunk cost first. Uh, I'll capture on the bubbles. Um, and uh, make it to uh, whatever. I don't care. Uh, I guess I'll save Mars. You you were gonna save Mars earlier. <laughs> All right, Cordier. Okay. Uh, now I'm gonna play Fuguru and draw and reshuffle. This deck actually has quite a few draw icons, which is very important uh, for this exact situation where I don't have a, uh, I don't have a deck. Yeah. And I want to make tokens. I've got like you know active recruiting station and future booster. Okay. Draw. Oh, I hit it. Yeah, I hit it. I hit it. Um, okay. Uh, I no, I'm, I'm, I got other stuff to do. We got a, we got stuff to do. All right. Uh, I'm gonna future boost. Um. Mm, mm, uh, recruiting station and say Star Alliance. Um. If it belongs to the hell, let's make a token creature. All right, it's a token creature. Mm, I, I, I reshuffled into too much fire. I am going to Abyssal Site. Sacking this drawing. Alright, uh, Mars needs Amber can go. I am going to... Uh... Sunk cost my my precious hand. Um, sunk cost uh Mars because you have like bang token. Jeez, what are you? Okay. Um, Bubbles is going to reap. I am... Play that. I play this... Or I just play this. So if catch and release is the draw, um, which is like kind of a number. Oh no, no, that's fine. That's fine. I'll adult swim, shuffle these, and put these on top. Okay. Um, then I'll catch and release draw. This comes back in my hand. Uh, I get two chains. Discard one. Mm -hmm. My bubbles! Okay. Now I'll replay this Fuguru and draw. Uh, and then I'll discard this Whirlpool. <laughs> uh, ain't no sense. And doing that. Okay. There. I'll say you check with Tim I'll tell you go ahead. No porch. Mars, Jack Blast. He's dead. Mesmerist. Make Explorer. Your turn. Alright, my will forge. I am going to say Equidon. I'm gonna play Ornate Talking Tray. And then I am going to Future Boost. Okay, I'm gonna 
recruiting station and say Star Alliance. So I'll discard this, make a token. Um, I am going to generous offer this token. Yeah, it was a shame it was my recorded history. Um, draw and draw. Okay. Um, I have a shrewd investor, which I suppose I'll just run out there. Um, and then I'll discard this market crash because I don't actually want any more uh, chains. Okay. Did I get punished by the chains last turn? Did I have too many cards in my hand? I got punished by my chains last turn. Uh, I didn't reduce it, so now okay. this goes away. Drop the three. Say check with seven. Tell you to go ahead. Star Alliance. Play grunt work. Make a token. Play grunt work. Make a token. Reap. This card. I will play Secure Droid. Your turn. There. I will forge. Check with six. Uh, I think I have to say Equidon here. Oh, no, I could say... I think I have to say Starlance. Um... Yeah, okay. I'll say Star Alliance. I will Detention Coil. Um, I will Future Boost. I will Recruiting Station. Make a token. I'll say Equidon and make a token. I will play Zytar and I'll shoot this token. Okay. Now you're trying to dig for the. I need if the I hit. Store. No, if I hit uh the other rogue operation. Oh, uh, okay. I need to hit the other. But the closed door. How many? How how many times during that game would closed door have just cracked that game? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think I tokenized all the uh, outside the rogue operations. I think I tokenized all the amber control on the first go through. Um. Okay, Benson takes game one. Moving right along to game two. That was, I was worried about a comeback there for sure. I think you were slightly too far ahead. Yeah. Um, yeah. The uh, the Echo Reflector sitting on the table for so long was pretty surprising. So I had Market Crash and I could kill those at will. Mm -hmm. But the problem was, is I uh, was trying to find a way to win the game at some point. <laughs> yeah. Explorer Superior Prospector in every way. We're results based thinkers here. Yep. In every way. That Explorer is just big enough for this deck to be annoyed by. That deck doesn't seem like it's super concerned with creature control. This one? Yeah. Nah. Which could be a problem, but I guess at the end of the day, if you hit a good catch release, that's all you need to do to win the game. Yeah. So. Yeah. I do like Ben Seven. Ben Seven Star Alliance is really sweet. It's like the double uh, grunt work, outpost, hapless cadet, uh, two scout chief forgers, two echo reflectors, container warp. It's just like so solid. Who's who won? Uh, I guess uh, you get to choose, right? If you want to go first or second. Uh, I want to go first. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna mulligan. Actually, I think I would mulligan for the artifacts way harder. Um, in retrospect, because I think. If I just have Recruiting Station Future Booster through the whole game, yeah. then... Yeah, I it, I could have, like, when you were... You got stuck under Timoti for a little bit. Yeah. Um, and if I... When you kill Timoti, if I go Echo Reflector, then... Or Closed Door, then. Or yeah. Closed Door, right? Either one of those, so... Brett, that's true. Verte is in one month. 
By the way, this is like pretty close to and maybe our five year anniversary. Uh, I got an email about it. You got it. an email? I got an email oh. about it. I Maybe I deleted the email? <laughs> okay. It was like, your stream anniversary. Blah, 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 blah. You Let's can see tell we're it. very uh, concerned about it. But it's cool. Uh, no, it's, it's just it's buried under buried under emails for bills. So <laughs> we're so bad at streaming. All right, down to six. We're really bad at it. All right, I'll start by playing an ornate talking tree. Okay, and yeah. Mars. I'll play a generator. Play harvester and memorox and the mesmerist. And I'll use this to make explorer. All right, I'll say um, Unfathomable. I'll discard Whirlpool. I'll play Timoti. Uh, and I'll play Fuguru with a draw icon. Um, and then I will Abyssal Sight you. I, I ripped the Abyssal Sight off the Fuguru. Draw. Play Kelp Miner. <laughs> oh! What am I supposed to get rid of here? I mean, it's the Rebel. Um, yeah, it's the Rebel. The for Rebel's sure. insane. <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah. Jeezy Pete's. That's a disgusting hand. The Rebel's pretty good. All right. If you're going to draw like that, dude, I don't know how, what I'm supposed to do. Look at that. I don't know. That would have been very important in this site because. Kaboom Rebel, after using his Mars, would have been devastating, right? Come here. Yeah. Well, yeah. So the thing is, is you would, um, I mean, it's already, like, Mars is already not good for me, and right. I can't, like, answer it immediately. Um, I mean, I think I lose on the spot to Rebel. Christ. That also has a damage icon on it. Yeah. I'm going to say Mars. Play Mesmerist. The question is, do I Kaboom? Or do I fight your stuff? I kind of want to just kaboom. I'm gonna reap. Well, I wouldn't play the mesmerist then. If you're, oh, if yeah, you're, if you're gonna kaboom, kaboom, you play yeah. it afterwards. Yeah. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna reap. I'll play kaboom. I'll play Mesmerist. I'll use this to make an explorer. I'm done. All right. I am going to say Star Alliance. I'll teamwork and make a token. I'll, and this gets archived. I'll pop Ornate Talking Tray and make a token. Um, I'll play Recruiting Station. I'll Rogue Operation and draw and steal one. And it is your turn. I will draw it to you. That's how you got. Play Star Alliance. I play Guthrak. Play Corgier. Make Explorer. Reap. Discard. Your turn. Okay, I am going to say Equidon. I'm going to Recruiting Station and say Star Alliance. Ooh! That would have been really good here, I think. Uh, I'll play higher on and make a token, and it's going to get archived. I'm going to play Tia Arhi Esquire. I'm going to generous offer this token. And draw. Um... I am going to reap twice, and then I am going to freelancer Corgier, and it is your turn. I will draw three. So you go ahead. Okay, I'll say. 
Brobnar. I'll play Mike Club. Play Brick Nasty. Um, Reap. Make a token. Play Fresh Marks. Uh, I'll do a damage there. I'll sacrifice Scout Chief. And I'll exalt. I'm done. Alright, I am going to forge. Mm hmm. Indeed. All right. Uh, I'm gonna put my archives in my hand, and I'm gonna say Equidon for the turn. Um. Esquire is going to fight Guthrak. Okay. Die, make a token. Um, do I... Okay. That's a tough question, uh, SC2 isn't my life. That's a tough question. We've, we've, uh, we've outlaid our thoughts a lot about it. And it would take a lot of time for us yeah. to get into the think, nitty gritty of it here. Yes, yeah, so I think the uh, the uh, Cliff Notes version is that um, the token mechanic simultaneously adds and removes variants from the game in unpredictable ways from game to game. Um, and so sometimes it's very frustrating to play with. Sometimes it's very frustrating to play against. Um, but it's also sometimes very fun to play with. Yeah. Uh, however, um, I appreciate the level of variance that it adds to the game, because I do think Keyforge is better the more variance that you add to it. Um, the problem is that the tokens themselves are not particularly well balanced. So um, that's uh, we'll we'll use that as the that's short the short answer there. That's so, pretty good. Uh, like uh, everything in Keyforge, the the answer usually boils down to it depends. Well, it depends. Yeah, <laughs> so, it really depends. All right, uh, I'm gonna hire on and make a token and then archive it. And then um, these two, uh, I'll crash one into Guthrak and draw. And then this token, I will um, don't want to. I'll close door first. I draw and I draw. Yeah. Uh, if I'd fought with that one, I mean, I don't want him to like let you draw too many cards either. So, um, do I reap with this token? Or do I want to draw? I think I reap. Uh, and then I have a shrewd investor who I guess I will also play. I'll play it over here. Uh, recruiting station. Recruiting station for. Uh, unfathomable. Okay. And let's say to go ahead. I will draw nothing. Draw lands. Playground work. Okay. And then I'll play Rogue Operation. For two. And then you already closed toward me. You can echo reflector me. Maybe. Rogue operation, rogue operation. You haven't played you have to play too many. Okay, so you can echo reflector me, which I think is ultimately fine. Um, I'm gonna reap. And
guess the, the, the question is, do I want to draw that specific card? I don't think I do. I'll discard Pound. I'm going to reap. That can stay. And then I'll reap. And then I'll play as Echo Reflector. I'm done. Alright, gonna say Star Alliance myself. I'll play Future Booster. I'll play Detention Coil. I guess I'll put it on Brick Nasty. Not that he like ever fights himself. He's way too busy letting other people do his dirty work. I'll play Teamwork, make a token. Uh, this gets archived. I'll play Recorded History. Um, I'll show you those bubbles. The bubbles in the archives. And then I'll play a pyro. Um, I don't actually want a recruiting station here. So I could hit something that I want desperately. And so I'll draw these five. I'll tell you go ahead, shuffle. Draw one more. George. That's also a reasonable gripe that uh, you have one house that's way more stacked than others, right? Or that's like your main house because the token kind of enhances that one house more that, than obviously in the rest of the deck. That's that's yeah. like a side effect of how the set works, right? Yeah. It's like you have like a support house, you have your main house, and then etc. But the problem is like sometimes in this set more than others, one house really carries your deck or can yeah. carry your deck, and the other houses don't really matter or like they're just full of crap. Um, so no, that's that's definitely a reasonable complaint because it doesn't really feel like. The way other Keyforge sets play, where you're like calling different houses turn to turn most of the time, you can definitely call one house over and over and over again, uh, sometimes in the set, and it gets kind of samey. All right. I'm going to say. Uh, you'll just you'll see Brobnar decks take literally the same turn three times in a row and then win the game. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't feel like Keyforge, right? I'm going to say Brobnar. Let's drive Smack Pyro. Brick Nessie can't fight. No, he cannot. <laughs> uh, I'm going to Berserker Slam that. And draw one. And play Val Blood. And play Unguard Camp. Capture three. And I'll reap. Your turn. Uh I'll put my archives into my hand and I'll say unfathomable for the turn. My clubby investor, yeah, that's a good idea. We'll do that. I am neutral omni token creatures will never happen. They were gonna do that, um, but they decided against it for a lot of reasons, I think. I'm an adult swim. Okay. I think, uh, like, based off of the amount of woe that we've played, I think this deck is better than that deck, but I think that deck is really well positioned against this one, if that makes sense. Yeah, it does, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, all right, I'm going to future boost, uh, and then I'll recruiting station say Equidon. Um, I have a Whirlpool. This is, uh, this is actually good, right? This is what you should. This is what the whirlpool is good for. Shrewd investor whirlpool. Um, I don't think the deck gets to pull it off that often. Though, yeah. So. I'm gonna discard whirlpool. I'm gonna watch your step and say Brobnar. Uh, I'm gonna play Fathom Reaver, and then I'm gonna play Bubbles, and I'll put the Mesmerist on top of your deck. Um. Okay. And it's your turn. I will draw one, and then I'll tell you to go ahead. 
my forge. Okay, I'm gonna say Mars. All right, so make two tokens. Yep, I'm gonna pick up the archive. You know, put them over there and ready them unless you have a preference for where they go. That's fine. I'm going to scoop up these guys. I'm going to play Martian Revolution. I've got a genetic blast. The question is, do I give you four cards to try to answer my my amber, right? Um, I think I do not. I'll do genetic blast this bubbles. Okay. Mars needs amber. Just in case. I don't have Mars needs amber, but oh, okay. if I did, then that's what I would use it for. <laughs> Memrox will do damage to that. Uh, Mars Amber was like one of the first cards tokenized. No, oh, okay, okay. Mesmerist, Harvester, Explorer. Your turn. Check with seven. All right. Uh, do I feel like I can draw it? Is the question. So I will forge for six. Yep. I guess I get one recruiting station, or sorry, I get one future boost to see. So I have Echo Reflector, but uh, it's just Echo Reflector teamwork, right? And that's not particularly good. Um, I, could go, I just go back into like anything. Yeah, so yeah. I'm gonna, I guess I gotta say Equidon here. Um, little future boost. All right, we'll recruiting station and say Star Alliance, make a token. Um, I will hire on. Yeah, hire on and make a token. This is a closed door. Mm. Um, but it does get archived. Um, I'll play Envoy of Acquire. I'll have Shrewd Investor fights. Uh, Yixlis Mesmerist, and then I'll have this Prospector fight it. Um, I'll have this Prospector fight Harvester, and I'll draw. Wait, that was only one damage. Yeah, this Prospector's gonna fight him, and I'll draw. And then this Prospector's gonna fight him, and I'll draw. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, that's game. All right. Boom. I was trying to dig to... So I had two outs in Equidon, the Generous Offer and the uh, the other thing. Um, I don't know. I do think this deck is better, like, against a wider field. That deck is really fast, though. Yeah, I think it helps um, a lot. It's got just enough disruption, too. Yeah, I mean, like... I Just I'm, imagine if I got that Mars turn. Like, holy... Uh, well, so I'm losing the game with this hand. Yeah. Right, sunk cost catch and release abyssal site. Like, uh, the game ends before I can like, you know, I I think me milling the catch and release on the first go through is what lost that game. It's pretty bad. Um, and that just that goes back into the thing we were talking about before the consistency, right? Um, so tomorrow is trash. Problem is it wasn't warmed up. Didn't get a playing round. No. Went right in. Hell, I'm a buy. I got six zero. I've never lost a game. Loses two immediately. Okay, next match. I mean, both this game, so Abena 7 generated a thousand times more amber than yeah. it did, right? That's big. Um, I mean, like, this set... I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Burst the, is not easy to come by. That's the thing about this. Uh, Berserker versus Skirmisher. Hmm. Hmm. Now, I do think, um, so, uh, the for Tamar or Jupinicus or whatever. Or it was it Jupinicus? Yeah, yeah, it was Jupinicus. Whatever. I don't know whatever Tamar that deck P is called. Jupinicus. Okay, yeah. So I think that deck um, uh, would honestly, like, the more reps you have with it, the more you know what to look for. And that deck, more than any other, is like, when when do I actually make my tokens? Yeah. Right. Um, this deck seems kind of good. Kind of a little bit good. Got two brick nasties with Berserker. 
Oh yeah, good hammer. My club. My grand gourd. Hey, you got <laughs> you got guilt spine school, so. Uh, three mix of the tall minded, two generators. Jeez, clone home. Two photon blasts. Uplink. Oh, this is like where you could uplink the Revna. Yeah. Dump the, the berserkers directly into play. The blood of the titan. Oh, it doesn't. Have, it does have blood of the titans. Yeah. Oh man, I remember that game. Hmm. Trip core is pretty strong. You have guilt spine school, and berserker literally doesn't care about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the thing about that deck's uh, Guilt Spine schools. It's it been like itself. really good. Yeah, it's been re the Guilt Spines have been really good in the um, in certain matchups. So this is a bursty deck, though. This is a heavily pit deck. Free Steward Two Zane's Puzzling Trinket. That's what its strength is, I think. Same sleeves. I keep that in mind. Eight, nine. Um, oh, Mulligan. Oh, uh, keep. Yeah, I would. I would honestly consider Tamar for uh, Archon. Hmm. Okay. After playing it, yeah, it's just got a lot of good stuff. It had like one more Amber Control in. Uh, had one more Amber Control in Equidon. I'd feel a lot better. But I had Market Crash, and there were multiple times in those games where I had the Market Crash, and it wasn't good because you had like a bunch of explorers. So. Rustmizer. You exhausted my artifacts over there? I will. Well, uh, I'm going to say uh, Brobnar. I'm going to play my club. I'll pound the Rustmizer. And then I'll play Brick Nasty. And it's your turn. I'll draw. Okay. Brobnar. I'll play Pelf. Play Fire Spitter. I'll Berserker Slam the Brick Nasty. This does four. And I'll play Smith with two pips. Easy. I'll save check with seven. All right. I'll say uh, I'll say Mars. I'll play Mark II generator and a mix, and then I'll Mark II generate a token. Um, who's mad? Ready and mad. And it is your turn. I'll draw two. You'll forge for seven. Brobnar. Fight mix. Actually, I'll... Uh, I'm going to reap. And then I'm going to shock herder fight mix. Play Rowdy Scald. Health. I think I'll just reap. Your turn. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say Brobnar. I'm going to play Brick Nasty. I'm going to play Never Flame Wing. I'm going to Might Club Never Flame Wing into Fire Spitter. It's going to die. It's going to make a token creature. I'm going to get an Amber for fighting. Uh, this is going to fight Rustmizer. It's going to die. And I'll get an Amber. And this is going to fight Pelf. This is going to die. And I'm going to get an Amber. And I'm going to tell you to go ahead and I'll draw to you. Alright. I'll say Equidon. I'll force retirement the Brick Nasty. Do the damage and force charge. You gain one. I will generous offer Rally Scald and steal two. I'm done. This matchup is with haymakers, dude. I will say Star Alliance. 
I'm gonna play Psionic Officer Lang. I'm gonna Photon Blast to do two damage to the Shock Herder. I'll play Temporal Purge. And then I'll equip Psionic Officer Lang with Badge of Unity. Wow. I'll draw. Good. Alright. Unfathomable. Play Azure Base and Outpost. The double pips. Dude, the pips, man. I know. Uh, I'm not done. I'll play Plunder. And I'll start looking at the cards in your hand. Are you going to be as good at that as I am? I don't know. We'll see. I think the key is just keep going forever. Alright. Bumpsy. Don't care. Airlock, don't care. Ged Hammer. I think I do care about Ged Hammer. Potentially. Yeah, especially with the Bumpsy already. So I'll get the, the Ged Hammer. Um, I will... Watch your step. And say Star Alliance. If you don't call Star Alliance, make two tokens. A bubble's the lying on top of your deck. And I'm done. Check with 10. Uh, I'm going to say Mars. I'm going to play Airlock. I'll play Xanathix Harvester. I'll play Mothership. Make your tokens. Uh, and then I'm going to mark two generated tokens. Where do you want them? Just wherever. And go ahead. I'll draw four. A forge. Okay. Say Brobner. Play Pingle, play Jarl's Vend. I'll fight the Harvester. And these are going to read twice. Oh, yeah, it's not O1. You're right. Score from last time, my bad. Yeah. No. Um, check six. Okay, I'll say Brobnar. I'm gonna play Bumpsy. I'll play Pelf. Um, I am going to have the Berserker fight Bubbles. Actually, Berserker's gonna fight something that dies. Uh, I'm gonna Might Club Pelf into a token. You lose one. And then I'll have this Berserker fight another token. And uh, it is your turn. I'll draw to you. Teddy, go ahead. All right. I'll say Aquadon. I'll play Puzzling Trinket. I'll play Trading Frenzy. I'm going to do a damage to Pelf. And then I'm going to play Out and Negotiate. I'll do a damage to Pelf. I'll capture one. I'll draw one. And then I'll do some. Get that Temporal Purge. And I'll steal one. And I'll play this here, Steward. Uh, I'll discard Steward. Your turn. Uh, I guess I'll say Mars. I'll play Mesmerist and Generate. And then Clone Home. And then Airlock. And I'll throw the uplink out the airlock. And it is 
Your turn. I'll draw two. Tell you to go ahead. Okay. I'll say uh, unfathomable. I'll play Adult Swim for Pingle. I will play Guilt Spine School. Use the outpost bottom. I'll exhaust these. Actually, I'll exhaust these. I'll play this rod. Okay, let's game. Okay. All right. Too much amber burst. Uh, yeah. I mean, how many amber pips are in that deck? It's a lot. It's like twenty-four or something. Puzzling trinket and three stewards. Yeah, it's I mean, insane. The the unfathomable was crazy pipped out. Uh, cause like, yeah, I mean, like you put like three Brobnar guys on the board and generated seven amber at the mm -hmm. same time. So yep. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Cause the um uh, I was like on my back foot against your Brobnar, and I felt like this deck wants like if it's not. If it's not, if it's not the Brawner. one who's like killing the board, then yeah. I think it's probably in really bad, um, really in bad shape. So, <laughs> be him to not play the three pip rod first. True. Yeah. yeah thank you, No Legs. <laughs> thank you. I, I'm glad everybody sees what I have to put up with on the stream. All right, I guess I'll go first. I don't know if that matters. Oh, but... by the way, we got the new uh, sorcery starters. So we're gonna do this tomorrow, probably. Yeah, that'll be fun. Look forward to that. New avatars. I did have, I had like three turns in a row of two, two, two hands that game. Uh, so. That's pretty bad. That's not good. The Grand Gord. Good. This is a mulligan. Been enjoying the beta precons. Cool, I'm excited to see how they work. The beta precon sorcerers actually look really neat. Yeah, interesting. Like they uh, certainly incentivize you to play single faction decks, right? The current the sorcerers that are in the game prior to that were like you you I mean I'll, you know really incentivized to play. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll play Watcher Step for Mars. All right, mine. Yep. All right, I'll make a Brobnar token. Um, gonna play Airlock, mix the Tall Mine and Xanthix Harvester. And it's your turn, I'll draw three. Brobnar. Firespitter, Scald, Smith. Your turn. I'll say Brobnar after making this token. I am going to play my club, Nibber Flame Wing, Pelf, I'll pound. Um, Zerkers go screeching to their death. And it's your turn. I will draw. There you go. Adult Swim. Those two. Plunder. Plunder. Mix. Double mix, huh? Well, yeah, I'll get mixed. This way you can't super tax me. Since I am playing this three pip for, uh, for Gripper Garage right now. Okay. I'm done. Okay. 
I'll make a token. I'll see Brobnar. I'll play Revna. I'll play Brick. Uh, and I'll reap three times. I'll might club this Berserker, and then I'll reap with it. And it is your turn. Draw. Order seven. Oh boy. Okay. Feeling pretty in trouble. I'm gonna say unfathomable. I'm gonna exhaust brick. I'm gonna thunder toe and exhaust revna and mix and draw. I'm gonna play this netcaster and do a damage to revna. But I'll make a Grand Gord token. I'm gonna say Brobnar. I'm gonna play the other Brick Nasty. I'm gonna play Unguarded Camp. Grand Gord is like fourth on your list of things to kill. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> not Greg, good. Greg Gord is so far down the list it's not even funny um, alright uh, this berserker token is going to fight guilt my netcaster and I'll get two amber it's, it's good that I don't have more creatures actually yeah because <laughs> I, I would generate more amber than reaping um, I will reap three times and then I'm going to my club a berserker token this one and reap with it I'll say Jack with 12. Okay. Say Equidon. I'll play a steward. I will generous offer. And I'll discard the steward and I'll play Trading Frenzy. Maybe I'll play Trading Frenzy first. Oh, okay. Then yeah, play yeah. The, the stuff. And I'm done. All right. So I'll forge for six. I make a Grand Gord token. I'll say Brobnar. I will reap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. This is, uh, <laughs> if you remember the discussion about tokens earlier. Say check with 13. Tell you good. Okay. Uh, I'll say Brodner. Bingle. Shock Herder. Fight. That's the damage, right? Yeah, yeah. Pound. Smith. Uh, okay, I'm done. Forge. That's game. Okay. Would you like for me to call Brobnar one more yeah. time? All right. Just. Was that was for the that was for the all the haters in chat say I need to draw better. Okay, <laughs> you did it. My mulligan was horrendous. <laughs> My starting hand was two 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 mulligan two one two with cards that didn't do anything. It was not good. This deck can High really variance. play from ahead, yeah. right? But I don't but think it's getting back in. So I do have Maelstrom in here somewhere. So I needed Maelstrom. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing was that with that position or whatever, I just have to use that until it's gone. Yeah, exactly. Right. Until you force me to do anything else. All right, I guess I will go first. You, tr you truly did it. <laughs> yeah, I thank you. Chatter. <laughs> <laughs> With your coaching, I was able to win that game. I 
<laughs> so the the I, I want to point out that the funny thing about this deck is that it's got the Starlight card that lets you turn tokens face up. So if you accidentally tokenize your brick nasties, you're just like, okay, well it's not a token right anymore, yeah. and now I'm gonna go. That's fight. pretty good actually. With that, <laughs> did you think I would never ever win a game ever again, <laughs> unless I was using the hyperbole deck? Impossible to win a game without it. I guess, I guess I'll keep this. I guess I'll keep it. All right, trick it. Uh, I am going to play Revna, Blood of the Titans. Yeah, it's your turn. We'll draw a team. Tell you. Okay, I'll play Plunder. I've had enough of these. MFs in my hand. Yeah, we got a blank. Or something stupid happens. Oh, uh, watch your step for Brobner. I guess you had uh, you had Twitch on blast actually. I'll watch your step for Star Alliance. All right, I'm done. Uh, yeah, I'll say Star Alliance. I was gonna temporal purge them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just to see. Mm -hmm. Well, what do we got? Uh, transporter platform. Uh, discard two photon blasts. Yeah, it's your turn. I'll draw. Play some creatures, you coward. Okay. Play Equidon. Not it should be a lower rarity. I could see that. I think uh so I think a lot of cards outside of like the actual token makers themselves, a lot of cards that interact with tokens are at higher rarities. And I wonder if that was like a conscious design decision, right? Because like you have the um the rare card in Equidon that just puts a token creature back into your hand. Um, like, why is that rare, right? Woe? How many woe decks? I don't hate every single woe deck. I just hate playing Winds of Exchange, the set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, woe versus other sets is, it can be interesting, too. Yeah. Um, we have, like, a, a 150-ish woe decks. Yeah. Uh, I'll play this Braiding Frenzy. Uh, I will... Good neighbor. Play out negotiate and draw. I'll get the temporal purge. I guess I need to play that first, huh? Yeah. Yeah, so it works. You capture. Yeah. Or I could play before the steward. I am done. All right, I'm going to say Brobnar. I'm going to play Bumpsy. I'm going to play Brick Nasty. I'm going to play Pound. I'm going to Pound the Steward. And then I'm going to Reap with Revna. And it is your turn. I'm going to draw three. So you go ahead. Okay, here we are again. I'll say... Uh, I don't have, like, the Grand Gore. Yeah, yeah, the I'll Grand Gore's what I run away with that last one. I'm going to play Force Retire. I'm going to do a damage to Bumpsy. And I'm going to Force Revna. Okay. Retire. And that's my whole turn. <laughs> my whole damn turn. Going to say Mars. Gonna play Airlock. Gonna play Mix. Gonna play Xanathix Harvester. Gonna play Clone Home. So okay. And it is your turn. I will draw for. Robner. Play the Grand Gord. 
Uh, forge. No, I don't forge. Play Grand Gord. Play Jarl's Vend. Play Pingle. I'll Berserker Slam Harvester to lose one. I will Shock Herder into the mix. And make a token. And then I'll play Smith. Make a billion. It's possible this four amber should be four damage on brick. But uh, we'll see. I'm done. Okay, I'll say Brobnar. I'll play Might Club. I'll play Pelf. Um, Berserker token's gonna fight Grand Gord. And I'll get one. Uh, Pelf takes damage from Pingle. Uh, Bumpsy's gonna fight Yarl. And I'll get one. And then I'll play Unguarded Camp. And it is your turn. I'll draw three. Tell you, go ahead. Say Brobdar. Play Pelf. Fight Pelf with Skirmisher. Fight Rick Nasty. Play Smith, do a damage. Gain two. Reap with Pingle. I'm done. Check with him. Okay, I am going to say Mars. I'll put my archives in my hand. I'm gonna airlock, and we're gonna throw the secure droid out the airlock. Um, wasn't it the Starlance in that deck that was kind of like bad? I it's not it's like it's not good. It's like it's not good. Pretty bad. Yeah, you do forge. Um. Okay. Um. I'm gonna play Mark Two Generator. I'll play two mixes. Uh, and that was I'll good. Mark Two Generate and then clone home. And it is your turn. My I my eyes bugged out when I, I drew the mix. <laughs> the second mix. I was like That's pretty good. Cause like that right there goes from me being like to okay, alright, we got a shot. We got a shot. So I feel like I saw the bulk of your amber control. I mean a bulk of your uh, creeper creature control there. Alright, I'm gonna say Unfathomable. I'll play Thundertow. Uh, I'll exhaust the mixes. I'll draw. I'll bubbles a Berserker token. Play Outpost. I'll blast down the mix. Damage, damage. Okay. Play Venom. I'm done. Uh, okay. Guess I star lines. A red alert. I'll play Hawkins. Uplink, platform, Hawkins, uplink. Blank. Your turn. Check with six, draw four. Okay. I'll say Barabnar. Pound. Actually, I'll do I'll do a damage from that pound to mix. That makes more sense. I'll Stratus Mac. 
I'll fight. I do lose one. I'm done. Uh, okay, I'll save Mars. I'll put my archives in my hand. I'm going to airlock. I am going to play Mark II Generator. I'll generate two tokens. They're mad. I'm just. I'm yeah, not. Yeah. I'm, I'm not worried about it anymore. I'll play Mesmerist, Stem Rager, Clone Home, Mothership Support, Genetic Blast, Tell you to go ahead. Draw seven. Sorry, draw five. Say check with seven. Equidon, Old Tinker. Gem code vendor, steward, generous offer. I am done. Deck has Maelstrom. Say Mars, put our guys in the hand. Throw this secure droid out the airlock again. <laughs> Play clone home. Genetic blast. The old tinker. Mesmerist and amber onto the old tinker. Stim Rager fights the Brobnar token. Yeah, fights the token and then kills the old Tinker. And I'll say check with seven. And just, oh, I'll generate two more tokens. Okay. And your turn, I'll draw one. There you go. I'm going to play this rod. I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to get an amber. Reap. Maelstrom. That doesn't matter.
I could stop a key or I could threaten. I guess stopping the key probably better. So capture, adult swim, capture, school. Oh yeah, um, school. I'm done. Drop the chain, shuffle, draw, one. Uh, right. I'm going to say, um, Starlight's alert. Photon blast. Badge of Unity. Three. They check with eight. Draw three. Tell you guys. Equidon. Steward. Offer. Your turn. Forge. Robnar. Flame wing, brick, unguarded camp. Reap. My club, reap. There you go. Draw all three. All right. Say unfathomable. Uh, cool. Outpost, uh, exhaust the creatures, rod the rod the mic club. I will have played adult swim before I did all that. Okay, and I'm done. This is a game three right here. Quite a game three. Okay, I am <clears throat> gonna say Mars. I'll put my archives in my hand. I'm gonna play Mesmerist, Stim Rager, Mix, Clone Home, Generate, Airlock. Um. It's a lot of workers. They're locked into portal purge. And so you got Brobnar. Draw three. Berserker slam. I'll do a damage, then I'll do slam, and I'll get one. Fire Spitter, Scald. Is this all Brick Nasties or is this just Reap three times? This might have to be all Brick Nasties. Let me see here. 
What are you doing, Broadmoor? Stop me. You can bump C. You can unguard camp, but that was where you re you might redraw into it. Okay, so you might have unguard camp again. You don't have unguard camp again. Um. So Bumpsy, Pelf, Pelf, Mike Club. Bumpsy, Pelf, Mike Club. So three, three times. I don't think you saw me in Bromner. In Mars, you got one for the Mesmerist. You play Mix. That stops me if I read three times. But you're not threatening. You have one mix there. You just played Mars. Echo Reflector and Star Alliance doesn't stop it. We'll read three times. We're going. Full send. I'm done. Check with nine. Okay, uh, gonna say Mars. Gonna uh, put this in my hand. Gonna airlock. I'll throw away Revna. Oh, Mesmerist onto a token. I, oh, uh, no. I'm gonna Mothership support first. I'll blast two tokens. You got the cards? That's uh, for each oh, ready, friendly okay. ray. Yeah, it's not uh, orbital. Two. Yeah, so I'll blast two. Then I'll Mesmerist onto one. Um, I'll play Mix. Xanthix, clone home. Generates. That's a lot of Zerkers. Um, clone home. Yeah. Stemrager. Fights the Fire Spitter and then kills the Fire Spitter with his after fight. Um. Okay. Uh, go ahead. I'll draw three. Robner. Green Gord. Do damage. Fight. Reap. I'm done. Check with nine. Um, I discarded my temporal purge earlier. I should have actually kept this mm. because I could temporal purge a mix. A under, mix. Yeah, yeah. Um, now I don't know if I can uh, get back to it. I don't know if a way to draw. The uh, temporal purge would actually be insane here. Um, I, I, of the seven, one is not a creature. Oh, wow. So, okay. Can I, so I, I could, I need a, I have a way to kill. All right, so I have to say, 
I can give myself really good odds on drawing mix off the airlock. So I'll say Mars and pick up the archives. What is the last card in my deck? Um, I don't think I care what my last card is. My outs are uh, the the mixes. Okay, so I how am I killing my own mix that's over there? That I know that uh, I will clone home. We'll make another mix. Uh, make another token. Okay. Right. It's it's a it's rage. Ready. It's a rage. rage. Okay. Um, do I have a way to get it killed? I have two mixes in the graveyard. Mothership support? I don't know whether you'd have to draw back into that first. Uh, yeah, and that's like I only get one card draws the yeah. thing, right? I only get one. Um, Stim Rager can't do it. I don't have a way to fight with it. So I think I just have a two out of. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So ten. I have a twenty percent shot to hit the mix here. Because of how few cards are left in my discard. Oh no! I, I guess I uh, increased the one. odds with yeah. with airlock. All right, so I'll airlock. Um, I'll throw away. Um, blood of the Titans, and we'll shuffle and draw. So sub twenty percent to hit it. Do you believe in the heart of the cards, chat? Hmm. If I had a way to kill that mix, I'd be in really good shape. Just give it really high. I'm shuffling it. I'm getting a little shuffle. There you go. Red alert. Red alert. Uh, that's game. That's all she wrote. Boom. Whew. That's a game. I don't. I don't think I could have come back if you stopped me there, because I couldn't. I had no other ways to deal with the mix on the table. I had like Thunder Toe, Toxicute Venom, Out Negotiate, Shock Herder, Higher On, Steward, which is like doing a whole lot of nothing. Yeah, I um. So what I didn't ever envision was a scenario in which Temporal Purge would be good, but I actually think Temporal Purge is insane in this deck yeah. because of. Like the triple mixes and stuff like that, right? Like yeah. you take a Star Alliance turn, your opponent is saying, "Oh, you can only you've only got Echo Reflector, or whatever, right?" You like Temporal Boom. Purge. Uh, suddenly, I've got you know two mixes. Yeah. So those were uh, that was a good game though. It was a really good game. Yeah, it was close. It was super close. Pretty close. The puzzling trinket, very very good for your Ryan. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I very good. Um. Yeah, I think if I had fought for the first keys as hard as I fought for that last key, then I don't think the game would be close. But I think that's the that's the matchup there is that that deck is um, it put the pressure it's on. The second very, game I couldn't put the pressure on as much because yeah. you had it the whole time. Well, but you just didn't ever touch my board. Yeah, right? exactly. I just didn't interact with you. At there all. were there were so the the maelstrom. Um, the if you had seen the maelstrom earlier, you would have lost the game because. Uh, I would have, there were, I, my hand was like brick nasty pelf mm -hmm. for a thousand turns, but because you reaped, uh, and I played the unguarded camp, my unguarded camp was the only out to the board situation that I had at the time. Right. I wasn't happy about it, but, um, cause I knew the longer I went after the maelstrom before you got into the maelstrom again, the better the unguarded camp was going to be. Um, because that was like the closest thing to scaling amber control that I had. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, I was going to have to get back to it um, at some point. So, there's probably, there's probably some board situation where you get to uh, just tokenize the whole deck, then temporal purge all of your good answers. Because you're like, your opponent's like, oh, I'm scared of uh, you going back in the Broadner turn after you take all the Mars turns where you're like MPK2 generator. And then you go into Star Alliance, you're like, whoop. Yep. Yeah, and and your like unguarded camp goes through the discard pile, and then everything else is just creatures, mm -hmm. right? 
So anyway, yeah, that was a that was a good game. Those were good. I mean, I I'm glad we did matches. Actually, that that was super interesting. Yeah. Well, the games played completely differently, yeah, right? Yeah. And that, that's that's what we knew about the set. Because if we had one game for either of those, it would have been um, yeah, maybe not the first round, but yeah. And and, uh, and actually, I think both both of those sets of games confirm. One of the really early things that I said about this set, that the most important thing in the set is Amber Control, and then the second most important is Creature Board Control. control yeah, yeah. Right? Because both, like, the decks that you played, yeah, they did some stuff on the board. The first deck almost didn't, right? Yeah. And that deck did care about the board, because when it controlled a board, its smiths hit for, like, a jillion. Yeah. Right? You had the Amber Enhanced Smith. Dude, the you, smiths were crazy. Can you play it Smith and it generates five Amber? Yeah. Like, that's, that's a lot. ridiculous. So. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate y'all. Yeah. Well, and the um, decks are curated to this point too, right? Yeah. Like, so this yeah. is the juiced ones. So I, I'm pretty. I'm actually pretty excited for the rest of this tournament. These are gonna be. I mean, these are pretty good games. So yeah. Um, well, even, not, even in the first round, we had really good games, but this, these are really interesting. A lot of interactions and stuff. Yeah, well, that and we get to flex our best two out of three muscles, which yeah. is a completely different skill set. That is so. fun. That's fun. Okay, everyone, have a great night. We will be back tomorrow for sorcery, and then Wednesday for another set of two games. Yeah. Or two matches. So. Don't All right. Join us. Goodbye and good night.